you miss the most about your mom? Um, I mean, everything, but I'd say the most is that just as everybody's talked about since, you know, she passed and she got sick of her personality and the love she had for everybody and just kind of the, like, especially in a time like right now, like she probably has such a great perspective on, you know, how to, how to view it and how to go about um, life and stuff like that. So just try that. You know, I, I knew she was an amazing woman, but when you actually see people's reactions to questions, uh, see people's emotions through their answers, then you actually realize like, what kind of impact she had. And I think it's new to me. Like, I don't know, maybe it's because I was younger and I didn't like fully grasp, you know, maturity uh, in my teenage years. But to like see what she stood for and then how she treated people, it, it all kind of makes sense to me of like the things she would preach to us. Even at the time I found it trivial, now I understand you know, why she was doing it and, and how it's just kind of like infused into myself and how I carry myself. So as I, as I said to you, when, when we put our ashes out to sea in the ocean, um, all I, I just couldn't help but think about her and her wishes. Her wishes were for you to carry on. To carry on the care and love for Bray. If you remember what hung outside our house was her favorite words. Live, love, and laugh. And that's what she wants for Bray and for Hunt. But you have the torch now to take care of him. And she knows it. And she's able to rest easy knowing that you're in our lives. And I love you to death. And I always will.